Okay, so this is a bonus uh, tutorial on all of you watching there. So we're gonna be creating a break disc. So I hope I hope you know how it looks and uh, I'm gonna show you the process of making it. So let's go to the front view. Uh, maybe it's right view. Yeah, it's right view. Uh, let's just hide that. So hide selection F3 and F4. Actually, hit the four. This is the back view, I believe. So let's just go from the left. There it is. <coughs> uh, go to the shapes. Circle. And uh, just create a circle, something like that. And uh, create one more circle, something like something like that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, you want to send about to them. So just like so where did it go on? oh okay do the same with this one they just one down that doesn't matter uh, so after you got that go to modify convert to edible spline attach and uh, just attach this one and uh, hit all Q for isolation mode uh, after you've done that, you want to go to create panel, uh, create one more circle, and th in this case, it's going to be a small one. So, something like that. The hold shift and ju just make three copies. Well, two copies of it. Just one by one. Something like that. And uh, what you want to do is actually, if you go to modify edible spline options, uh, do, do it a little bit more, something like 10. Leave that as it is. Uh, it will spline. So we just want to attach these two. And uh, go to high key panel, effect pivot only, and uh, just center to the break disk. And uh, once again, tools. Alright, uh, let's create 32. Let's do 30 maybe. Uh, rotate 360 preview. That's too much. So let's just go down. Let's go to 20. That looks good. And uh, once you got that done, what you want to do is actually go to modify panel, attach, and uh, just attach all of them. Hit Q for selection mode so you want to actually move it. Oops, so which one was it? Attach, and uh, attach all of them. I hate when my mouse is blinking from recording, but can't do nothing about it. So attach, 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 and uh, attach both of these as well. There. Uh, old Q. I don't know why I exited. I haven't pressed nothing. That's wrong. Go to the left again. Uh, hit B for perspective. Just hit E to zoom it in, and as you can see, it doesn't look nothing like like a break disc yet because we haven't got any thickness on it. So, go to the bend. No, actually, bevel. Sorry about that. So, go to bevel and uh, thickness to about one. See what that's gonna look like. There it is. As you can see, starting to look like a break disc. Increase the thickness, maybe 1.5. That looks good, and uh, you want to make two copies of it. So, actually, not yet. Go to the left view. I haven't got shorts good for the left view. Left view, so that's a little bit annoying. But create a little box here in the top. Okay, so go to edible poly. And, uh, just wanna. Change the mints a little bit, make a little bit. So something like that. And uh, just center. Uh, hit B for perspective view. And, uh, just change change the color for it. Very very confusing thing. And uh, let's just size that down a little bit, shall we? 
actually left all of these vertices, just move them in. All of this, move out just a little bit, okay. Uh, now, a hierarchy panel, effect pivot only, once again do the same thing. And the uh, tools array preview. The, that's wrong, so. See how that's gonna look. Nope, so it's gonna be this way. Yes, so 360. There we go. Uh, as you know, break just got these things for help cooling. So, let's just attach everything. So, attach one by one. Here we go. And uh, let's just make a copy of the this break disk, one more copy of it, and uh, just drag that to here. Okay. Let it copy it. It's actually use a lot of polygons, so if I hit 7, it's already only this break disk 119,000 polygons, so just have that in mind. If your PC is slow, you might want to stay away from splines. Uh, yeah, so. Just move that back a little bit because I can see them coming out. Got that. Let's go to the left view. And uh, let's just create. Actually, select all of these. Uh, color will be black. Just hit M and apply default shader. There we go. So here we got our coloring. Go to the left and uh, create a tube. So actually not a tube. Sorry about that. Uh, so after you've done that, just make a little bit of height. Go to perspective view. You can have something like that. Uh, we just want to bring that in. Uh, add. Actually keep the segments as it is and uh, just scale it out a little bit so it just clips the tops. And, uh, Minimize the height. Go to editable poly. And, uh, just make a little inset and just scale that in. Oops, extrude that. I'm sorry. Something like so. So, once again, loop and uh, just move them in. Loop this one. Move this one in as well. To actually go to break disk. Uh, now, let's chamfer the edges. Loop. I can loop this, so just hit chamfer. And uh, just go down on a. 0 0.13, that should be fine. And, uh, make an inset, <laughs> just a small one. And, uh, just loop this and chamfer this one as well. You want to do the same thing from the back. So make an inset and uh, select this loop and chamfer. And, uh, apply to able smooth to it. Uh, render on two. Go to on here. Actually, go to the one that looks a little bit better. So here we got that. Apply default shaders. There we go. Uh, so here what we got so far. So if I actually select everything, and exit isolation mode. As you can see, it's actually starting to become a little bit laggy. So, what I want to do is select this break disk and deselect some of these objects right here. And I uh, just go to the left view and just move this up. Oops, middle still selected. So, 
let's try to move this up again here we go the actually what you can do is just just for the sake of this video is just zoom in and uh, normally I would actually send to them but in this case I don't really need it just click Z to zoom up on that and uh, just move that back something like that so that's a break disk as you can see and uh, let's apply materials to it to this one as well so hit map uh, for this will be select like uh, this rubber just apply to this cylinder and uh, we've got a bleed blank slot here it is and scroll down select brushed metal there we go and uh, just apply this to the two cylinders and uh, to these boxes as well and, uh, just want to hide all so let's just try to make a little render see what we're gonna get out of it uh, so rendering render uh, make sure everything is fine and, uh, just render and uh, just cancel I deleted my skylight so create lights standard light skylights just anywhere and uh, render again there we is and uh, I'm just gonna pause this while rendering come back once it's done okay so this is what we got on the final render and uh, here so we made it break disk uh, we made a wheel so well, what needs is a car for it now <laughs> so yeah this might be tutorial on a break disc and the wheel so thanks for watching and uh, bye